Hello YouTube, let's take a look at the Latitude E6320 again. In this video, of course, we're going to be running macOS on it. Well, I already installed it. I've uh, done a thorough test of it. Everything seems to be working very well indeed. There we go. Let's hit enter and let it boot into macOS Sierra. This was the very first version that I could get working properly. Because I don't actually own an Intel Mac anymore, I've basically sold all of them off, which was a very dumb idea. I had some troubles actually making a bootable stick for Hackintosh. So yeah. Let's just uh, put in my password. There we go. So yeah, that's a thing. There we go. Let's go to about this Mac. It is installed on a 240 gig SSD. We now have a MacBook Pro 13 inch early 2011, 2.5 gigahertz Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM, running at 1600 megahertz, which is neat. Intel HD Graphics 3000, 1366 display. So yeah, 1366 by 768 is not all that high of a resolution, so I put the dock on the left hand side of the display. I also used to do this with my MacBook Pro Retina that I set up for double scaling. I also put it here on the side. I also did this on my older MacBooks that I uh, used to daily at university, so there's that. Got all of my favorite apps installed. Let's launch Word 2016, which is a notoriously heavy program in terms of load times at least. As you can see, that loaded up pretty quickly. On a regular hard drive, this loading process for Word takes about 40 seconds to 50 seconds. No such a bad luck today, so that's good. The SSD really makes a hell of a difference. One thing I also noticed is that on this laptop, the SATA controller actually outputs 6 gigabits per second on both the optical bay and the hard drive bay. So if I put in another SSD in a caddy, I could also run that at 6 gigabits SATA. So that's very neat. Uh, let's see here, that's SATA. 6 gigabits and the other port is also 6 gigabit, currently running at 1.5 because of the optical drive. So yeah, it's running very well. I might actually try and upgrade this to High Sierra at some point. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, I'll see if I can get that working, that would be pretty sweet. So I'll have the uh, most up-to-date experience that I can. But uh, I think Sierra for now is fine on this machine, it runs very well. Wi-Fi worked out of the box, I didn't even know I had Bluetooth, but Apparently I do, so I've got that working as well. I've got uh, the keyboard working, all the various uh, hotkeys and whatnot. I can even uh, dim the backlight. There is software support for it as well, so I can adjust the brightness in the system preferences. I'll actually show you that. System preferences displays. As you can see, we've got a brightness slider right here. All oh, right, doesn't work right now. <laughs> Wow, that's embarrassing. It uh, worked at the first install. That was 10.12.4, I think. Maybe that bricked with uh, the update to 10.12.6. I might have to reinstall the kegs, but... I can control with the keyboard, so that's, that's fine by me. Sound also works just fine. Ethernet works. Basically everything works on this. It's, it's really as close to a MacBook 2011 as you can get uh, software-wise. So... So that's very neat. Let's just uh, give this SSD a little bit of a run for its money. Let's see what uh, we can get out of it. There we go. Wow, now it dips. I'm not going to call that 320, I'm going to call that 460 megabytes because that's actually where it was at for most of the time. And read speeds or somewhere in the 400s, so... There we go. Thought we were out of focus for the most part there, but I'm sorry if it was that way. But uh, it seems to be working very well. 
One thing I want to check though is the Wi-Fi speed. I changed my wireless router from a uh, Airport Extreme, which was giving me some problems, to a TP-Link. And we're running at a full 300 megabits, so that's good. Overall Wi-Fi range seems to have improved, so I'm very happy about that. Um, oh yeah, by the way, also the battery is working, which is very important. I can read the battery status just fine. The battery does seem to be sort of wrecked, at least it doesn't run all that long on battery, but long enough, you know, to uh, put it to sleep and then uh, get it to an outlet, so... Also, by the way, sleep is working. If I can demonstrate that here... There we go. It takes a little while for it to actually enter sleep, but it will work. It just has to think about it for a little while. But that's a very important feature to work on a laptop because you just have to have the ability to close the lid and have it turn off at some point. So now we're just gonna wait for that. Again, it takes a little while. There we go, now it's in sleep. The power light is pulsating as you can see right there. So if we press that again, we should enter our session again. There we go. So sleep and wake is working absolutely beautifully. It also disconnected the Wi-Fi as it should. And uh, other than that, the machine appears to be uh, working pretty darn zippy and well. So yeah, I might actually have to get another Intel Mac just to create macOS installers for myself. Because uh, the way I prepped this laptop or the stick for this laptop is by using a virtual machine that had on my server. Uh, I used, I, I connected to the server that was connected to it, which my micro server, by the way, was connected to the ESXi host, which is a DL380 G7. Um, I connected to it using VMware Workstation, so I could pass through uh, a USB stick, More that's the easier way to do it. Passing it through an ESXi can be a bit cumbersome and requires a full reserve of the host, with, which takes about 20 minutes sometimes. Um, so I passed through the USB stick, then I uh, put Unibeast on it, then I copied over all the kecks that I need for this laptop and DSDT and all that jazz. And uh, then I booted it, installed it, and now it's working fine. But yeah, now I can use this laptop to make other Hackintosh sticks, granted that I don't actually brick it in the meantime. And uh, yeah, so that's why I made a copy of the USB flash drive as a DMG so I can restore that. Uh, granted, I have another way of getting Mac OS running. I'll probably buy another Mac Mini 2007 or whatever, and I'll uh, hack Mountain Lion on it so I can uh, make installers for Sierra and High Sierra. So that should be fun. But uh, hey, that's about it. That was the short demonstration on this laptop running Mac OS Sierra. Of course, all of the Sierra features are working, so we can just browse the web. We have two finger scrolling, which is very zippy indeed. We can do full screen shit. We can do picture in picture if you wanted to. I wouldn't demonstrate that right now, but uh, everything is working as if it were a 2011 13 inch MacBook Pro, basically. Even iMessage works, so that's a very nice plus. Oh, yeah, by the way, the webcam is broken, but uh, eh, I don't care about that too much. So there's that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. By the way, I am hard at work at uh, getting the 4ID6 back up and running. Uh, some quarrels with the ID controller, but uh, I'll uh, get to that soon. So, uh, yeah, work in progress.